Welcome back to Editing with iMovie on the iPad. Today we're going to talk about adding natural sound and B-roll clips to the beginning of our story and to the end of our story. The reason we want to do this from a storytelling perspective, that natural sound really draws the audience and the viewer into the story as it's occurring, and that really can set the tone for the story rather than just starting out with the interview. So I'm going to go ahead and find a video clip that I want to use to start from my beginning, and I've got one right here. So I'm going to move my playhead to right in front of my interview with Drew. I'm going to tap on the, um, the clip, the B-roll clip with the sound that I want to use, and I'm going to hit my arrow down and add that to the timeline. Now you notice I've got that transition again, so I want to get rid of that transition by tapping on it, selecting None. And now I'm going to go ahead and play my first clip here. So this is an All right, so that sounds great, but you notice how it just jumps right to Drew? So this is an That sounds kind of awkward to me. So what I want to do is I want to blend those together. I'm going to blend the sound and the video and I'm going to bridge that a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is tap on my B-roll clip and I'm going to select actions and I'm going to detach the audio. Then I'm going to go over to my interview clip with Drew and tap on it. I'm going to hit actions and detach audio. So now I have detached audio for both. And now what I can do is tap on the interview clip with Drew, slightly drag that to the right, and you'll notice that it kind of overlaps now the video of my opening shot and Drew's sound, and it'll kind of sound like this. So this is an exciting venture. Okay, now you're saying, well, the B-roll sound is drowning out what Drew is starting to say. No problem. What we can do is fade that audio down. I'm going to tap on the blue track right there. I'm going to select volume. And right next to the 100% uh, number, you see the uh, word fade. I'm going to tap fade. That just added an upside down triangle that I can drag back to the left so that it won't drown out the first part of what Drew says. The other thing I want to do is here, listen to the beginning of the sound of the, uh, the first clip. See how it just kind of jumps right in? It's kind of jarring. So I have that fade already set in now. So I'm going to tap on that clip again, that audio clip. I'm going to hit fade. I have the upside down triangle and I'm just going to drag that to the right. And so now it slowly fades in. So this is an exciting venture. And now that sound does not drown out what Drew is trying to say. Um, now that's a great introductory clip too. It's kind of introducing a school that's involved with this particular organization and that summit for the day. But now I want a really concluding video clip, another natural sound and B-roll clip, sound that's really going to enhance my story, not just noise in the background, but some kind of sound that's going to wrap up the story in general. So I have a saved clip here of a boy who's going to talk on stage. Um, at the uh, summit. So I'm going to move my playhead to the end of the clip with Drew. I'm going to tap on the clip that I want and hit the arrow down. Once again, I have to get rid of that transition. And I'm going to go through the same process I just went through at the beginning by detaching the audio of these two clips. So I tap on my, uh, my clip there. I hit actions and detach audio. I go over to my interview clip with Drew, actions, detach audio. And again now, I'm going to select the video, not the audio clip, but the video of Drew, and slightly drag that to the right. I'm sorry, to the left. And so now you see that overlapped again. So I drag it to the left and it's overlapped. Now remember, I need to fade in some sound, right? So I'm going to go back to volume. I'm going to tap on the audio of my last clip, and I'm going to hit fade. And I'm just going to move that right there to the right. And then I um, tap Drew's clip. And I don't need to fade his clip, though. But I do want to fade out. Just like we faded in slowly the sound with, with the story, I want to slowly fade it out. I tap on the audio clip. I hit fade. 
I drag that upside down triangle to the left, and now my closing of my story will sound like this. We all actually have a lot of commonalities. We be successful, we have to spread it. So we want to impact more lives by getting more people involved. Okay, there you go. So that's the end of my clip. So we just adjusted sound on the interview, added or muted the audio on the B-roll, and added natural sound and video clips to the beginning and the end of our story that really enhance and grab the audience's attention in the beginning and wrap up the story at the end. Coming up next on editing with iMovie on the iPad, we will add titles to our story to introduce our character.